Hello, Gold Tenning students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. I was high when I wrote this song, suck my day. Let's say you're innocently strolling into the locker room for your Monday Night Beer League game. You kick open the door and say, All aboard the insane train! As you normally do. Only one problem. All the spots have been taken up by the squares who show up on time. Fortunately for you, you play in a cheap time slot and the rink is generous enough to open up a second locker room for the spillovers like yourself. They figured since no one else is cheap enough to play at 4 in the morning, they might as well show some hospitality to the bums that show up 5 minutes before the rental. You open up the door and see one other tardy beer leaguer. Hey man, plenty of room in here, Papa Squad. I wonder if this guy smokes weed. He looks like he rode his BMX bike to middle school and stayed after hours to paint the walls with ketchup and pickles. I feel like I'm at a cafeteria table with the kids my mom told me to stay away from. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you play goalie after consuming THC. And I'll let you decide if it's a good decision or not. This is Goalie Smarts episode 68, how to play goalie stone, I think. Step one, given to peer pressure. This episode is called How to Play Goalie Stone, so this step is going to be a little hard to avoid. As a disclaimer, marijuana is an extremely dangerous drug, and I cannot condone the use of it. But if you're going to do this anyway, I can't stop it. Hockey and marijuana are an interesting mix. On one hand, you have this wholesome family activity played by people in Wisconsin with two and a half kids, a picket fence, and a fear of homosexuals. A place where the mother is a housewife and the father stares at a wall for a living. But then these white kids grow older, try to be cool, and start listening to rap. Next thing you know, a mother walks in on her son using a blowtorch to heat up a dab rig and wonders where she went wrong. This keeps the exorcism business alive and well. The older generation of hockey players hang out in the locker room before the game and complain about how all the kids these days are getting high and how just this past weekend up at the ski resort there were a bunch of stoned teenagers hanging out in the pool, probably not even skiing. Unbelievable. And then he'll smash 15 beers, start a bench clearing brawl, get some IQ points shaved off his head, and wrap himself around a telephone pole on the way home. But hey, at least he wasn't stoned. There is very little data on playing hockey while you're high. This is because Gary Bemmon constantly gathers urine samples from all the players in his league, and anyone with THC in the system gets the boot. Why does he do this? Well, probably because he loves urine and wants to keep all the weed for himself. Hey dude, you ever try one of these? I don't know. What is it? It's marijuana. It's what all the illegal immigrants are smoking nowadays, and they know how to have a good time. Is it, is it dangerous? Well, not as long as you don't mind getting cancer and dying in a gutter. I do before every game. It helps me play better. I mean, I suppose I could try it. Now that you've lost all your moral integrity and handed your soul to Satan, it's time to go out there and play some hockey. So dude, you ready to play or what? I think so. Wait, what am I talking about? I've never been more ready to play in my life. <laughs> yeah. Step two, have fun. Life is a game and so is hockey. When you show up stoned, it makes things more interesting. So you're about to have a very interesting game. Since you don't know what is gonna happen to your reflexes after you smoke marijuana, you're basically a walking science experiment. So go out there and have some fun.
like you I'm smoking weed. Yeah, bro. Not a good idea. Thank you for watching the 68th episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by Carson C. If you have an idea for the next episode, do something about it. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and my voice cracked!